Hey, what's going on guys? This is Andrew again with the Pistol Chronicles. Thanks for checking back in. Uh, I just wanted to do a tabletop on the Almighty Glock 20C. I recently posted this out on the um, Glock owner's page and I got a pretty good return on it. So I definitely wanted to make sure I took a second to showcase some of the features that I have uh, running on this gun. Um, you know, I bought it at a pretty good price. This is a Glock 20C Gen 3 for those that are specific about which generation uh, Glock they may or may not be looking at. Um, this one in particular I got uh, through Davidson's Gallery of Guns. Um, I'm a California resident, so unfortunately I am limited to my 10 round capacity, but it's alright. You know, I had 10 rounds, I guess, uh, well... It just has to make me more accurate, unfortunately, because this state's never going to change the magazine capacity. So, anyways, enough politics, let's get to the gun itself. Well, as the first thing you'll notice is that it's not an all-black Glock. I, technically, I really don't like all-black pistols. So, the first thing I did when I got this pistol is I got the burnt bronze Cerakote on, uh, on the lower half. Um... I got the Cerakote on it because, well, I just the all aesthetics. I really think that uh, the gun looks better, and if the gun looks better, I'm going to want to carry it more, and if it, I carry it more, it's going to get more use out of it. Um, one particular thing that I wasn't too happy with uh, when, I, when I actually held the gun, obviously I bought it online first without actually holding it, which uh, it's a small minor mistake, but um, I definitely got around it really fast by adding some decal grips to the grip itself um, I have a medium sized hand and my hand didn't really fit uh, didn't really fit the grip really well it felt like it was kind of slippery because it is a fairly large frame so in order to combat that in order to keep the the pistol grip exactly where I wanted it I added these decal grips which were I believe only $12.99 on Amazon and the decal grips worked great because now every time I put my hand right on the palm rest on the other side of this because I'm right handed, um, it sticks. It doesn't slide, it doesn't move, it, my hand can be wet and it's totally okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, the second part that I added to this, right, to this particular pistol was I added the Surefire X400. Now I'm a big fan of Surefire tactical lights. I'll put one on any chance I can get and I'm really liking Surefire especially right now because this particular light has been with me since 2008 and up recently I had to send it in because the actuator was not turning on so every time I would push the, the button nothing would happen but now that I got that fixed everything is it's all better now. And Surefire did it all for free. They paid for the shipping. Well, I drove it there because I live close to the facility in Fountain Valley. So I took it there myself. I said, hey, this is what I got going on. And they took it in, shipped it back within about three days. So about a three-day turnaround time to get the uh, service done on it, which I was super happy about. Um, this accessory, when I bought it in 2008, was about 475 bucks by itself. So it was quite the uh, combat light to get but if you could get one back then hey I did so uh, I slap it on every pistol I get a chance to now now it's Loctite to this so I really don't want to take it off um, this is definitely going to be one of my everyday carry guns I know it is a full size gun but weighing in at just under 30 ounces you really can't complain about it much um, I'm a big 1911 guy too so I'll definitely be carrying a Kimber custom TLERL2 which I'll do a tabletop on and I just like full frame guns uh, I have one subcompact of Springfield that I'm also going to do a tabletop on but um, and I'm also going to be looking at getting a Glock 30 um, I'm kind of fairly new to Glocks but um, liking them a lot uh, really fast so I'm excited for these for these platforms um, the gun itself is pretty bare bones I mean it is uh, it is a Glock, so they say the simplicity of, of Glocks is what's their selling point. Uh, this one in particular is the compensated version. I don't know if you can see the holes right there in the barrel that allow for the gas to escape and help with help mitigate recoil. 
Um, I got a partner who's got a regular Glock 20 and I definitely want to shoot his side by side to mine and see who has uh, better recoil management. Now I'm going to argue that the C is going to have it but to be honest I actually bought it on a fluke. I thought it was the C was for the California edition because it was limited to 10 rounds but you know I couldn't see that on the website so or maybe it was there and I just didn't notice it. Either way I ended up with a Glock 20C. So, um, but all in all, um, you know, it's, it's been a great pistol so far. I ran about 200 rounds through it, which is nowhere near the breaking period. But, uh, the slide is very easy to manipulate. Um, there's really no, you know, issues or anything wrong with it because it's still a brand new pistol. So, overall, been very happy with the purchase so far. Um, and while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and demo some of the ammo that I'm running with the Glock itself. I'll stand this up to the side. So right now I'm running two different kinds of ammunition. The first one is the Underwood ammo in 10 millimeter. Um, this stuff is great guys. If you can get it under 30 bucks for 50 rounds, this stuff is the bee's knees. I mean look at this, 165 grains rolling at 1400 feet per second this will hit a target 300 yards away I know you guys might be saying oh that's bullshit it ain't gonna happen but I will get the video footage and I will get it ready to go and I'll even get a laser range finder so that all y'all that call bullshit on this this is the real deal it will hit a target 300 yards away one of my best friends told me that it was possible I didn't believe him until I actually no joke did it myself so for all of you guys that don't believe that a pistol can hit a 300 yard target it will do it. Now you're gonna have to account in for some wind variations and all the other stuff, but it will definitely do it. And I think with this Underwood ammo, I was hitting it no problems. Um, nowhere could I do that with my 1911. I was shooting 230 grain uh, ammo out of that, and it would basically fall after about 150 yards. Um, never even made it close to that 300 yard target. So Underwood, love it. I will definitely run this a lot. Um, at the price that is running for 10 mm at this pressure, um, very affordable, definitely a great round to train with and definitely a great round to carry with while you're uh, carrying. So I'm going to stand by that. Now the real bread and butter of the 10 mm has definitely been double tap. Double tap is definitely cooking the pressures for 10 mm at where it should be. Um, like I said, I got a good friend that's telling me, that's giving me the good information on the pressures and ratios of what a 10 mm round should be cooking at and should be firing at. And I got to say that these numbers don't lie either. I'm shooting 200 grain lead hard cast rounds out of this Glock and there is no fouling in the barrel. The lead is perfectly intact when it hits the round. I lose a few grains uh, shooting concrete blocks but the round stays solid and I'll definitely give you an example of what the round looks like because I already have it loaded in my magazine so this is what we got it, this is the lead hard cast ammo now it definitely looks like it's just lead at the tip and nothing else but I gotta admit when you take this round apart or when you fire it you'll notice that there is indeed a copper base underneath the casing so as it spins through the barrel um, you're perfectly fine your barrel your barrel will be perfectly fine um, you're not going to get any type of uh, build up or anything inside the spiraling of the barrel so don't be worried about firing lead hard cast rounds from double tap they took that into consideration they are measuring the stuff correctly and it's firing perfectly every time granted you're gonna pay a hefty bounty for these rounds but hey when you're in bear country or when you really need that extra protection or stopping power I don't want a 10 ml 10 mm lead round coming at me so that being said this is my 10 mm tabletop review for the Glock 20C one last look at it and I think we're good thanks for checking in 
if you get a chance to fire one of these bad boys definitely seize the opportunity I think you'll really appreciate it um, one of the common questions that I get is how does it compare to the 45 well I think you're comparing apples and oranges at that point um, both great platforms different uses so whatever you guys think you want to use it for knock yourselves out thanks for checking in